Hello, world. Welcome to Shake Talk. Mm. This is Wednesday morning. I am Barbie Lee. This is the best breakfast ever. My, I gotta tell you, I know every day I say I make the best shake ever, but seriously, to this morning, perfectly creamy, perfectly chocolatey, minty. It's perfect. Oh, you think after 13 years? Of course I get it right. Well, it's not been quite 13 years. Anyways, I digress. Okay, so today we're talking about part two that. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Oh, swallowed square spit, I think. So if you fail to plan, plan to fail. And we talked about that on Monday, right? We talked about what are your plans versus somebody else's plans for you, right? So typically if you're an employee, somebody else makes your plans. Somebody else literally schedules your day from this hour to this hour, like whatever your work hours are, right, according to your to your boss or whatever your, you know, whatever your office hours are, whatever kind of thing, right? So like my husband, he works with a courier company and he works from eight to four. That that's that's the time. So anything that happens in that time period, the boss plans or like the 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 scheduling, you know, like the whoever the pickups and all that, that 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 dictates what he does. But what happens outside of 5 p.m. because he's got to come home shower and everything. So what happens outside of 5 p.m or before 8 a.m. is completely up to him, right? And and that's where he gets to make his own plans. So, and everybody's the same way. Now I know some people are like, oh, I have kids, I have, you know, I have responsibility, I have this piece of hair that, can you see it? It's right, it's right there, do you see it? There it is, I got it! I don't think it's gonna stick up, there we go. So maybe you have kids and you're like, oh no, because they're in sports, and like, great. So their sports dictates your plan. Right? Oh, but I have, you know, a, a job that takes me, you know, 60 hours. Great. Whatever it is, right? There's always a few other minutes for you to plan your life. Whether it's, let's imagine, okay. So you commute, look at me. I'm commuting to work. I'm driving along. I don't know who really drives like this because that would make you go like this all over the road, right? So you're driving along to work. You have that time to do whatever you want, right? Maybe you want to learn another language, right? So put in some, um, you know, go to the library, get some books. <laughs> Listen to me, go to the library. Who goes to a library anymore, right? Download some podcasts or download, um, you know, how to, how to learn another language, right? And maybe listen to that on the work. That's your plan to make you better, to give you this juicy, delicious life that we were put here, that we chose, I believe, I believe I chose to come to this earth at this time to have a juicy, delicious experience. So if I'm just, you know, lollygagging along and letting everybody else tell me what to do, I'm not in control of that juicy, delicious experience. And guess what? I'm probably not having a juicy and delicious experience, right? So I have some friends that do some traveling. They do, um, you know, they go to these uh, personal growth seminars and stuff, but they always plan a couple days on either side because they love Disney, right? So maybe they go to Disneyland, Disney World, whatever. Like even when they went traveling to Europe, they planned to go to Europe, Disney, right? Because they really love Disney. That's their plan. It makes them happy to go to Disney, right? So they planned the extra time. Now, they don't plan when those seminars happen, but they can plan what they do around them. Like, do you get that, right? It's like this. I'm thinking I'm, I want, really want to go to Australia this winter. I think maybe it'll wait till next winter. Well, it's not going to happen this winter now, but I'm like, I don't want a 20 hour travel day, right? To get to Australia because that's pretty much what it is. Right. And I'm like, huh? So I started looking at alternatives. I started to plan differently. Do you know that there is a cruise out of Los Angeles, California, takes you through Hawaii, takes you through Fiji, all that kind of stuff and drops you off in Sydney 30 days later. And some people are like, oh, I couldn't do a cruise. I can do a cruise for 30 days. And it's only two grand. So a flight to Australia is about twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300. Sure, I get there in a day, but then I have to stress myself and do all that kind of stuff, right? I'm going to plan because I don't want that kind of stressful travel day. And I'm going for four, five, six months anyways. So who cares if I take a month to get there? How cool would that be to see a whole bunch of places along the way right that's what i'm planning to do see see i thought i get so excited because i'm like oh 20 hours like that's a whole day of travel i'm gonna be so tired and blood you know and all that and and i get that when people only have a week or two you know there's certain things that they have to do i get that 
I, I don't have that, right? So I get to choose how I get there. So that's my plan. Oh, my whole light just changed. The sun came out. <laughs> so that's my plan, right? So I get to choose that. And that's what I'm talking about. If you fail to plan, plan to fail, right? Now, most people can go to work and do what they're supposed to do, right? So I'm looking at who's on here right now. And so I, I used to be a teacher. There's a teacher friend of mine. And they are told, he is told, what time to go to school, what classes he gets to teach, what time is his recess break, what time is his, you know, pee break at lunch, whatever, and what time he goes home at the end of the day. And, and, and then there's all that other stuff that teachers have to do in between. Don't think that's where a teacher's day yet because that is not how it is. But what if somebody wanted something bigger and better? So, so this particular teacher, good morning. So this particular teacher, I know he does a lot of things outside of his classroom because it makes him happy, right? So, you know, and Jessica just joined, and I, Jessica already talked about you, so you have to listen to the beginning. Um, but, but this is the thing. When you make those plans that make you happy, that you do outside of what's already planned for you, life becomes juicy and delicious, right? So I don't know how many of you notice, right? <laughs> you know I was talking about you, didn't you? So you know how... And I don't know if you've noticed, but I put in my, um, whatever it's called here, the hashtags. I always do 2020 vision, right? And a lot of people, sorry, it's way over there. I'm not going to go grab it because it's pinned to my bulletin board. I always put 2020 vision, right? Because I have a vision. And I, and I always said that in 2020, in 2020, my kids were going to be, Taylor Ray would have been, will be 21, my Dell will be 24. They don't really need their mummy around all the time. Now, although I want to be, you know, cuddles and all that kind of stuff, right? Like right now, Taylor is not feeling well, so we get cuddles, and I'm okay with that. Not that she's not feeling well, but that I get the cuddles. Anyway, but in 2020, I, are, I, I planned that years ago that I knew that I was going to be free to be me, right? And the kids were going to get to do their thing, and I was going to do my thing, and that happened in 2020. So what perfect thing to say, 2020 vision, right? So I have a vision for 2020. Many of you guys know that I've been talking about 50 countries in 50 years starting on my 50th birthday. Now, my 50th birthday happens to be in 2019, right? So I'm turning 50 in April. And I already did one of my countries, right? I went and spent three months in Mexico. So I kind of got a head start on it. But that's okay because I had a vision. So then things that I started to do started to work in correlation to that vision. I started to make a plan. You're right, Graham. I've always been me. Yeah. Hey, I tell stories about you all the time, just so you know, just in case you didn't think you had a big impact on me. You really did. Um, so we shared, Graham and I shared a classroom one year. Um, he was the band teacher. I was the drama teacher and we shared like grade sevens and stuff. So we had a, we had a year together. Um, anyhow, so I made this plan, this 2020 vision, right? And I said, this is what I want to do. And so I started to attract and and collaborate with other people and make happen what I want to happen. Okay, do you get that? That was my plan. Nobody else planned that for me. So because of that plan, I have this juicy, delicious life, right? I'm here it is at 930 in the morning. I'm just having breakfast because I got up. I said hello to my husband. You know, he went off to work. I worked out, I stretched, I did some yoga, I had a nice shower, you know, I, I, I did some little flu-flu on my hair today, you know, that's why I have this extra little piece here. Anyway, so I, I got all this time for me, and now it's 9.30, I'm like, oh, I should have my shake, oh, I gotta do shake talk. I'm not on anybody else's time schedule but mine. Mm. They did, they did. Ha! Thanks, Graham. I still actually am one of the best teachers, I'm just not in the classroom anymore, so just so you know. Ha! Listen to me, just so you know. Oh, Darlene joined. Dar Dar Darlene is on a, on a world vacation here. She was off in India, and I don't know where she is now. Maybe Amsterdam? I don't know where you are now, honey. Anyhow, so here's the thing. If you fail to plan, plan to fail. And I'm talking about in the general scheme of life. Sure, you can plan a vacation. You can plan a birthday party. You can plan a wedding. But if that's all you're focused on is that one little thing, then what? What next, right? Thanks, Jess. So then what? Right? What's going to happen next? You've got to continue to look ahead and say, okay, what do I want to do? Who do I want to be with? How do I want to be? What kind of persona am I? Who am I going to hang around with? What kind of income do I want to make? Blah, blah. You know, there's just so many things. Now, 
Now, some people are perfectly content just kind of hanging back and going, I just like my little life. I like working from nine to five. I like working Monday to Friday. I take the weekends. I go to the lake. I maybe read a book. I watch a movie. Maybe take a trip once or twice a year. Great. If that is your plan, no problem. Just be aware. Is it your plan or somebody else's? Because I have my plan, right? I know what I want. <laughs> oh, oh, Graham, God bless you. He's waiting for fifth graders to show up to play the recorder. God bless you. <laughs> I know what fifth grade recording sounds like. <laughs> Recordering? I don't know what the word is. Anyway, point is this, ladies and gentlemen. It's your life. Take it by the horns, balls, whatever you say. <laughs> Just take it and start making a decision. Start making plans for what do you want it to look like. Pick your own 2020 vision. you got a year and a half, year and a bit to get there, right? And what if it happens at the end of 2020? Then you have two years. But pick something and start making a plan. <laughs> That's a word, thanks. So start making a plan. I'm just telling you, it is so much more fun when there's a plan because then there's no failure. There might be putting off deadlines because maybe something didn't happen at this particular time. Like I thought maybe I'd go to Australia this winter. It didn't happen. No big deal. I'll go next winter. Next winter, bye baby. Do you get it? If you plan to fail, or if you fail to plan, just plan to fail and be okay with it. Don't blame anybody else. Oh, blame, that's a whole other conversation. I gotta go guys, have a great day. Thanks for jumping in and thanks for the conversation. I do enjoy it, bye-bye.